Many people go out there just walking into any estate agency and what they're really doing is they're just gambling. Unfortunately, there's many people playing financial Russian roulette when it comes to their property investing and they don't even know it. Let's uh, jump straight into the way that you can do this with estate agents. Now, one of the key things that not a lot of people know, and I'm sharing with you right now, is that there are five different types of estate agencies. And the unfortunate thing is, many people go out there just walking into any estate agency, and what they're really doing is they're just gambling. Unfortunately, there's many people playing financial Russian roulette when it comes to their property investing, and they don't even know it. Now, there are five different types of estate agencies, like what I say, and the first one that I want to share with you is the national corporates. Now the national corporates we're going to come to in a moment, I want to go deep into this and explain what these are because these are the most beneficial to you that you'll ever find to get your discounted deals. And the second one I want to share with you are the regional agencies. So there are regional estate agencies that you will find. The third way is that you can find independent estate agencies. It's independent estate agencies uh, are there as well for you. So that's the third one that I'm sharing with you. And the fourth one is actual letting agents that are trying to do a little bit of sales. So they're very good at lettings, not so good at sales, but they're trying to do a bit of sales. That's a fourth type of estate agency that you will find. And the fifth type is the New World Estate Agency. And this is opening up all over uh, throughout the UK and definitely in a property market crash where the vendors are trying to make some savings. And these are online estate agencies that uh, you can think of a number of names for these people that are out there. This is the fifth type of estate agency. Now I'm going to share with you the most effective, most useful, my most favorite agency that we have at Premier Property, the National Corporates. Now the reason why you want to be going to the National Corporates is that first of all, there's actually a hierarchical structure. So there will be a regional manager, there will be a manager in the office, there will be negotiators below that and so on. Now, you have this hierarchical structure which really helps you. It helps you to get deals and you're in the right estate agency. So the advantage to you here is that, uh, you know, although estate agents themselves are allowed to buy deals, they, they can't buy every single deal. They can if they want to, however, it will be a little bit frowned upon. Every time, you know, you, there's a recession, and I've been through the three largest recessions the UK's ever seen, and every time what I've found is that, you know, the most money that we made at Premier Property, the most millionaires that are created in uh, businesses and property are always in the recessions. Have you noticed this? Maybe you've noticed this already, right? There are so many facts around this. So, you know, you heading into a recession is, you know, nothing really to be worried about, but as long as you have the information and you know what you're actually doing. Now, the reason why you want to get into the national corporates, like what I say, first of all, is the hierarchical structure. Secondly, the big advantage is that uh, they have a big brand name. So you're going to find that there's more volumes of properties that actually arrive at these estate agencies, if I'm making sense for you. Why? Because like I say, there's a lot of marketing around that, right? Also, the third reason that you're going to really find the national corporates the best for you is because right now there are a number of branches that are across the country and what they're doing is they're aiming to keep their brand open and they're keeping their, uh, you know, their actual bricks and mortar offices open because it is a marketing method for them, which means that you are going to find that branches are open where, you know, money is being pumped in by the larger organization. And you will find that there are estate agents in there that are sitting there really twiddling their thumbs, waiting for investors like you to be actually coming in right now post COVID-19. So right now, if you want to get excited in property, now's the time to do it because in the market crash in 2020, you know, what you're going to find is the heat is off the market. The people that don't know what to do in property, they've gone and people like you savvy listening to information like this, who are listening to active investors like us at Premier Property, you are going to get it right. So you walk into the estate agency and the estate agent actually wants to know you. Trust me, this is where the you will actually build these relationships. Now's the time to do it. The best time ever that you're going to get in a decade to actually make this happen. So you jump in and you go into a national corporate estate agency and you will find that you are finding bottom door deals. You're finding those discounted deals and you're moving forward in your property journey. And really, you've got that peace of mind knowing, you know what? You're actually now creating your financial economy for yourself and you're doing it right now. Now, here's a top tip for you. Feel free to write this down right now. 
There are three key words that you should never ever say to any state agent, definitely a national corporate state agency like I'm sharing with you here right now on your first meeting. We're discussing your first meeting. So never ever use firstly the word cash. There are even very experienced investors out there who are using the word cash when they go into a national corporate estate agency. And the reason why you don't want to use that word is because, you know, these estate agents, they hear this word day in, day out. They don't really care if someone is cash or not cash, whether you're getting a mortgage or buying cash, because the fact is that they are looking to work for the vendor. They want to get the deal done and they want to help you to actually buy the property as well. So that's what they're there for. Whether you're cash or not is not a concern. And the thing is that when the word cash is mentioned, because they hear it so many times, now you are sincere, you are going in there, you are moving forward in your property journey. You're creating a life for yourself through property because you know that's going to make money for you. And imagine what that's going to do for your life. You're going in there with this mindset. However, the estate agent doesn't know that and they think you're just one of those people. Always never mention that word cash. The second one I want to share with you is never use any financial lingo that you have learned through, let's say, property trainings, you know, honest trainings like we do or, you know, whatever you've heard these words you've heard in the property world, such as BMV. Never use the word BMV, below market value or discounts or or anything like that or any sort of terminology, which is like specific, like LOs or you know ebits and things like that you know you don't want to discuss that with them just keep it simple so no technical lingo the third keyword that you should never say to any estate agency that you should never say to definitely the national corporate estate agents is the keyword the word new you know there are so many people out there who go in and say oh i'm a new property investor or i'm an experienced property investor you you know really what i find at premier property is you know over my last 29 years of uh, through the property investing uh, career that we have and I've shared this with so many people is you know what just keep it real you know you might be new to property investing but you're not new to life are you you know so think about your resources think about you know what else you're doing in life you know what is it that you well, who do you work for someone what do you do for them what are you good at I'm sure there's so many things that you're good at are you in business right now you know or have you got that inner strength there's something that you can bring to the table of course there's so many resources that you already have and um, you know I don't really need to point this out but sometimes I need to point this out that your resources are great so you're not new to life so one of the things you never want to say walking into any state agency and definitely a national corporate state agent is that you're new to property so here's what you do say Feel free to subscribe here. That's not what you say. That's for you. I'm <laughs> just mentioning. So subscribe here and just click on the bell icon. Just smash it right now and I'll share, carry on sharing videos with you and you'll get the first notification as it comes through. So what you say is this. If you're new to property and you're new to that area, you say, I'm a property investor new to this area. Now, do you see how that's subtly different from saying that you're a new property investor? And you definitely don't want to say you're a very experienced investor because at the end of the day, people like humble people, right? So you're going into the area and what you're saying is, just to clarify, you just say you're a property investor new to this area. 